Yo, what up guys? This video is sponsored by Death Row Records. I'll talk about them later in this video. It's a new month, my favorite month. It happens to be my birthday month and the month I started my channel. And here are my pickups. So let's start off with this Carhartt Work in Progress shirt. And for reference, I am 5'7", 156 pounds, got a slim muscular build. So hopefully that'll help you pick the right sizes. And this shirt right here happens to be a size medium and it does have a more relaxed fit. What I love the most about this shirt is that it has that washed faded look, especially for black tees. Ooh. This is my favorite wash. The logo is embroidered in matte black to keep it very low key. If I could swap out all my black tees for a more washed black tee, I definitely would. Because it also makes wearing all black even easier because the tee is technically lighter so it does contrast against everything else just a little bit instead of blending in and that's why it looks so good. Next up are the Jordan 11 lows in the Legend Blue colorway. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I know guys. Three W's in four years, that's amazing. Thanks sneakers, I appreciate it. So anyways, this silhouette, 25 years old. Can you believe that? It's like the S15 Sylvia. I was in Aruba last week and they have a lot of those out there. That car was ahead of its time just like this sneaker was ahead of its time as well. With the patent leather, the clean shape, and good looking outsole in this ice cold colorway. Now I haven't really gotten to styling these yet because this is my first 11, so let me know in the comments below if you guys have any tips. And now we can move on to the Death Row Records 30th anniversary merch drop. Who happens to be the sponsor of today's video? Death Row Records was kind enough to send over some goodies that I've gotta talk about with you guys. If you guys have ever played Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, happens to be my favorite Grand Theft Auto, then chances are you have heard of a Death Row Records track. The 90s was an insane time in hip-hop culture obviously I was a little too young I was born right in the middle of it but I got to experience some of it in GTA San Andreas so here's the hoodie right here this is a size large by the way you've got the death row records 30th anniversary on the top left corner and in the back you have an inmate sitting on death row plus you got some really cool details on the sleeve on the right sleeve there is the death row records 30th anniversary as well with that same graphic and like I said this is a size large so it's a little bit more relaxed fitting that's what you kind of want with these kind of hoodies stay comfortable stay cozy this is definitely Definitely a hoodie I'm going to skate whenever it gets a little bit colder outside. But anyways, black and yellow, can't really go wrong with that. And next, they also sent over the long sleeve, which is the same exact thing, only with a little bit of different graphics right here. You got that same inmate on death row. This is going on the top left corner. On the back, it just shows the Death Row Records 30th anniversary. And on the left sleeve, it does say Los Angeles 1991. And on the right side, it does say Death Row Records. For a large, it definitely doesn't fit super oversized. It's more on the slim oversized fit side. They also sent over this short sleeve right here, perfect for the summertime. You got that same screen printing work right here on the back. Got that death row inmate. Looks pretty solid. They also sent over this face mask right here. And they even sent over this beanie right here with the stitch graphic of the same logos you guys have been seeing on the shirts. These are all items I'm definitely going to be wearing as it gets colder outside. And yo, the best part, guys, they sent over this Dr. Dre vinyl right here. I don't have a record player or anything, but this is definitely going to be used as uh, some interior design. And they sent over this death row records coffee mug. So I'm gonna be sipping on some coffee, listening to nothing but a G thing. That's gonna be how I start my mornings. I'm gonna link all these merch items, the mug, the vinyl record, all in the description down below. Just check out their site. They have a ton of other options as well in different colors, different accessories. Definitely a lot of dope stuff. And thank you Death Row Records for sponsoring this video. Now let's move on to my Ame Leon door pickups. I hope I'm saying that right. Now I picked up two items because their stuff is pricey, man. I got a hat and I got a pair of shorts. The shorts are these ripstop color blocked pants. They were actually slightly water repellent, which is really cool. It's got three distinct panels of color, olive, cream, and a black netting for extra storage. I was thinking about the black one because of how subtle it is. But that's kind of boring. You know, it's summertime. I'm trying to have a little fun. And the navy one's also dope as well. Anyways, it's cut above the knees, nothing too tight, nothing too loose. I do wish it was more stretchy, but it's all good. You've got that Ame Leon door branding that's embroidered into the shorts. Premium shorts for sure compared to anything from fast fashion. Is it worth the price? I don't know, to me it is. Now the hat is pretty dope. I love all the little details, something that I care about for the summertime. The ventilation of the hat has these metal brackets with the Ame Leon door branding. The adjustable strap is made out of a nice quality leather and the color is more vibrant than your typical olive green. And I've really been digging hats a lot lately if you guys haven't noticed. I also got this gender neutral long sleeve from Adidas. Just Think about my last Adidas pickup, you know, that baby blue graphic tee. This is a white tee with golden yellow graphics of New York architecture. You guys know how much I love this city and I really like the last shirt, so I thought, why not? This shirt was designed by a pretty popular skate photographer, Michael Mealy, and this is just me dipping my toes into more colors. In this case, it's a more golden orange and yellow color. And I definitely recommend checking out this shirt, picking it up. Very easy to wear, subtle architecture in the back, 
little tiny architecture in the front, nothing too crazy. And since we're on that Adidas theme, I did pick up this Adidas Y3 bandana. Now this bandana does have a 3M reflective draw cord, which does help add a visual flair to the outfit, which is the main reason why I got this instead of just picking up a regular black bandana. But I also got this because it's easy to wear and throw on at night because I do bike to the gym at night and I do want something that's going to reflect some light so I don't get hit by cars or other bikers. So yeah, I like throwing this on to add a more subtle visual flair to the fit. Something that's different than, let's just say a tote bag. And this would suit more tech fits for sure, but I don't mind rocking in street fits as well. Of course, I know I am paying for that Y3 branding, but I did have a gift card at Mr. Porter. Basically got $23 off, so this was only 20 bucks. I also got two Rosen X pieces. If you guys saw my spring lookbook, you guys would have seen them. So I'll just talk about it very briefly. Right here is the M65 Volta jacket in the white colorway. This is something a stormtrooper should wear. Now to me, the design does look a lot like the acronym jacket. I'm sure there was some inspiration from that, but this is way more affordable than that. Obviously it is windproof, waterproof, more abrasion resistant. And you got a bunch of other details like a chest zip pocket, a normal chest pocket. You got waterproof zippers, a stowaway hood, and a ton of adjustment that you can make on the hood for when Whenever it gets super cold and a very important for the tech heads come on man come on man you can wear this jacket just like a backpack so this may seem corny but the great thing about this is you can wear it as a backpack whenever it gets super hot outside and if it starts raining you can just simply throw it back on easily and you're back to being good and then if the sun comes out again you can simply just take it off and wear it exactly the way you did before. Now, obviously it's summertime right now. I'm not gonna be doing that, but it is a helpful function for whenever it gets colder, you know, for the fall and winter season and spring as well. Maybe even summertime if it pours really hard. And then I got this crew neck right here. It looks so much better than your standard crew neck. Very futuristic. It does have nylon panels and this really cool piping around the shirt definitely makes this crew neck stand out and I can't wait to wear it as well. And now let's talk about local pickups that I always recommend y'all do. I talked about this in my summer video. Basically there was a little pop up in Washington Square Park. My girl and I were on a date. We were just walking around and then me being a content creator, I was like, oh, I'm gonna film this so I can put it in a video and just never shop at there. But I actually did find a little pop up that I wanted to shop at. So this pop up was selling these Stop Asian Hate shirts. Obviously that's the message I stand behind. And I got this wash shirt right here and the design basically it's got three eights right here The number eight in Chinese culture is good luck That's why when the Olympics took place in China on August 8th 2008 everyone was vibing But anyways on the back you got the occult y'all ever had that drink. It's really good. Try it out uh, It's got stop Asian hate plus it does say protect your elders because I don't know why people be picking on older people And the main reason why I want you guys to shop local is because you can find such exclusive pieces that nobody else can really get unless they go to that specific pop-up that gift shop that coffee shop that museum or they find it online in this case you can't really find it online or in person because it was only one pop-up i also picked up one of their work shirts it has the same exact design as well this is just in a more blue colorway and yeah man when you shop local it does help out a community it does help out a business in this case my purchase would go and support the local chinatown in new york which i go to all the time so my money went to a good cause and i'm down for that so those were my clothing pickups let me just show you guys my non-clothing pickups this right here it's the graduation album that's framed and i put it on my cards with my plants to make it look beautiful i picked that specific item because the artist takashi mirakami his artwork is just beautiful plus graduation was an album i listened to a lot during my dark days uh, when i first started the youtube channel can't tell me nothing got me through a lot of it. And then I picked up this chocolate deck that's hanging on my wall right here. If you guys don't know, chocolate is a skate brand, and that one is the product red deck. So just like the iPhone, the product red products do go support uh, survivors of HIV and AIDS and all that. So my money went to a good cause as well. And that's really it in terms of uh, new pickups. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys hit that like button. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Flower Johnny Ty. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys check out Death Row Records. And until then, stay fly. Deuces.